I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint an internal door and here's what we need to do the job. Medium sandpaper or sand in sponge, fine sandpaper or sand in sponge, primer, finish coat, paintbrush, cotton cloth, dust sheet or newspaper, masking tape, screwdriver, sugar soap, a door stop and dust mask. The most important thing before you start is to make sure your area is well prepared. First thing, wedge your door. Push back door until firmly wedged. Put down a dust sheet under where you're going to be painting to avoid damage in the floor. If possible, remove the door handle. If not, cover with masking tape to avoid damaging with paint. Make sure you have plenty of space to work and the area is well ventilated. If this door had been previously painted or varnished, I would have had to wash it down with sugar soap, but as it's a raw door, I can go straight into sanding it. And don't forget to put on your mask. If in poor condition, the paint must be stripped back to the bare wood. Begin by sanding down the door using a medium grit sandpaper or sponge. This will remove any blemishes or dirt on the wood and will help the primer to stick to the door and give a better finish. Top tip, when sanding wood, always sand in the direction of the grain. Be sure to wipe away any dust off the door before painting. If you're going to use a water-based paint, use a water-based primer. And if you're going to use an oil-based paint, use an oil-based primer. And don't forget to give your can a good shake before you start. Now we're about to start priming the door. And remember, this is probably the same steps where the priming are painting, as a good start leads to a good finish. Paint in the direction of the grain using even strokes. Make sure you get yourself a good quality two or two and a half inch paintbrush, which won't shed its hairs. Follow the same order of work, whatever you're painting or staining. Any mouldings first, then the panels, then the central verticals and horizontals. The top and bottom horizontals. Remember to paint the rim of the door to match the room that it opens into, to blend with the decor. When the door is dry, you can gently sand it with a fine sandpaper or a sponge. This will ensure a nice surface under the paint. And once you've finished your fine sanding, make sure and dust off your door thoroughly before you paint. Now that I've finished sanding the door, I can start painting. I'm using a satin wood. One coat finish. This means you don't have to use undercoat. Some people might like a gloss finish. It doesn't make any difference. Whatever finish you decide, always read the 10. Brush on your first coat of paint. The same method applies to the finished coat as it did for the primer. Lay the paint on by making two or three separate downward strokes. Without reloading the brush, fill in by cross brushing. Still without reloading the brush, lay off with light even strokes. Then finish and smooth out with a light upward stroke. And by not overloading your brush, you reduce the risk of runs and drips and you have a far better finish. Leave to dry overnight. It's a good idea between coats to wrap your brush in tin foil or cling film to stop it drying out between coats. Now that the door is dry, all I have to do is replace the handle and remove the dust sheet. Job done. Sometimes you may have to apply another coat of paint to the door. If this happens, gently sand the door down, clean off all the dust before applying the other coat, and then follow the steps we've just learnt. For more helpful hints and tips, go to woodiesdiy.com.